Welcome to the sneak peek of Adobe's Mercury Playback Engine technology. In this demo, I'm going to show you technology that will be featured in a future version of Premiere Pro. You're going to see where we take GPU and CPU and have them working in parallel in a 64-bit environment. All of this is made possible by using off-the-shelf NVIDIA cards like this Quadro 4800, which is the card that I use in the demo. This is a total game changer. You'll be able to do multiple effects, tons of layers, all in real time. Let's jump into this future version of Premiere Pro and check it out. Let's jump right into the action with the Mercury Playback Engine by starting with one of the most difficult formats to work with today, and that's native AVC HD. I'll start with just dragging a couple of clips onto my timeline, and then letting you see how they play back. Very, very smooth. And I'll grab a few more and put those on the timeline as well. And you'll see that these are native MTS files that came directly off of my Canon 1080i camera. And I'll grab one more clip and put it on the timeline. So I've got roughly a minute or so there. And you'll notice I can jump right into the middle of any of those clips and start to play back very, very smooth. And again, feel free to scrub at will just like butter absolutely smooth and again never before have we been able to work with AVC HD formats just like it was DV let's go ahead and start to work with these files in a normal workflow by adding titles and dissolves and effects like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick ripple delete and I'll go ahead over to my effects panel here and just grab something simple like a cross dissolve and I'm gonna go ahead and stretch that cross dissolve out to make it a little bit longer and hit play. And you'll notice it's very, very smooth. I've already created a title for us. Let's go ahead and just drag that title and I'll even drag it over that cross dissolve to make it work a little bit harder. And I'll hit the tilde key to bring it up full screen to show you that you can work in full screen mode, work with a second monitor. It's all the same and the quality is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to hit the tilde key and bring that up full screen. You see the title looks great, the video looks great, the action is very, very smooth, really, really great to work with it in this format. And those of you that are curious, I am playing this back at full resolution. Again, just feel free to start to work with these files and scrub them back and forth at will. Never before has it been so smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my task manager and show you the processors because I want to talk about this just for one second. And that is we're throwing all of this data out to the GPU. Again, that's the graphics card. And I want to show you what it's doing uh, to the CPUs. How hard are those CPUs working? And again, you'll see the CPU usage up here. Very, very minimal for the amount of effort that it's putting in there to play back two streams of native ABC HD with that cross dissolve and that title. Now, what does that mean? That really means that we're freeing up the CPU to do other tasks for us, things that the GPU can't handle. The Adobe engineers have got the Mercury playback technology working in parallel. So you have to look at this as a marriage between CPU and GPU and getting these things to work in parallel, again, working together. Okay, so let's jump into some other examples to show you how great this Mercury playback engine can work with other formats as well. And this is only the beginning. What about dealing with some of the new native formats that are coming out there, like some of these digital SLR cameras? Let me show you how easy it is to work with those in the new Mercury playback engine. I'll jump up to my digital SLR preset. I'll grab a 1080p, and I'll just go over to my Canon 5D folder, and I'll just grab a bunch of footage right onto the timeline. First of all, the first thing you'll notice is, as always, scrubbing back and forth, absolutely no problem, and just hit play. Plays absolutely beautiful. You want to go ahead and, and do a picture in picture? Go ahead and bring that up full screen and hit play. Lots of requests for digital SLRs, no problem with the Mercury playback engine. Okay, let's jump into another example, and this is dealing with Panasonic's P2 DVC Pro footage shot at 1080i. And what I wanted to point out, first of all, is I'm dealing with nine layers 
a video here just to show you how great it is to work with the Mercury playback engine with lots of different layered video and effects. So I'll go ahead and stretch this back down so I can start to see this. The first thing you'll notice is scrubbing the footage is beautiful, absolutely as smooth as butter. So I've got nine layers of video scrubbing back and forth absolutely no problem no strain no red render line I'll go ahead and bring this up full screen for you and show you what it looks like during playback as you'll see all nine layers of video playing back absolutely no problem in real time just think about what that would do for your workflow absolutely smooth now I went ahead and, and took the privilege of trying to strain the mercury playback engine as well by adding a 3D effect on each of those nine layers. So if I click on one of these effects and I go over to my effects controls, you'll see I've got basic 3D and a swivel with some keyframes added to each clip. And as I scrub these, it works beautiful. I can even bring these things up full screen and scrub them as well. Again, never before have we been able to deal with effects on so many layers in real time with no need to render. It just plays back beautifully. So again, you can rest assured that you can just start to add more and more effects, more and more layers of video. Let's go ahead and jump into some other examples and I'll take this a bit further. Here's another great example of dealing with our three-way color corrector. Here I've got a five-layered XDCAM EX 1080i project set up. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a color corrector on there. So again, applying our three-way color corrector. Before, this was a CPU intensive color correction process. Now we've mapped all of that out to the GPU. I'll go ahead and give that a look that's easy to see in this demo. So obviously, I've given it a very magenta tint just for this example. And I can just play that back. Plays back absolutely beautifully. Dealing with color correction with the Mercury playback engine, absolutely no problem. What about things like AVC Intra? Let me go ahead and bring up an AVC Intra example and show you how great that is to work with. Okay, again, here's some AVC Intra footage, 1080. What about things like keying? So I'm going to jump over to our effects window and grab a keyer, throw that over here, and then I'll just pop this open, click my color picker, go ahead and key that right out. I'll just set that to a real quick... Uh, setting here and just bring that up full screen and play it back absolutely as smooth as butter no problem go in here feel free to scrub the timeline at will and again that's a key so I'm keying native AVC enter footage in real time absolutely no problem so working again with these formats you'll notice are really really easy feel free to move these around and start working you know, now I've got a picture and a picture with a key so two layers playing back absolutely no problem it is absolutely beautiful to work with these formats and not have to worry about taking a hit on your CPU again the mercury playback engine is just great to work with all right, let me jump into something a little bit more difficult, and that's a multi-camera setup. All right, let's jump into a quick example with four layers of red footage. Again, I'm working in a 4K project. I'm going to go ahead and set up a quick multi-cam. So I'll go grab a new sequence, and I'll call this red multi-cam. I'll drag my 4K sequence into my multi-cam sequence. Right mouse click, and turn on multi-cam enable. At this point, I'll grab my multi-camera monitor. I see all four tracks of video. I'll pick the first one I want to start with and go ahead and hit play to start my edit. Very, very easy to edit. When have you ever seen native 4K red footage being edited in a multi-cam sequence? Never before have we been able to deal with red files, native red files, in such an easy format. And as you'll see here, here's all of my cuts playing back exactly as you would expect.